Hey guys, Cab Over Gary here. I'm here to work on the Kenworth, but as I was pulling in, it's a little sad not seeing the Freightliner sitting next to it. Um, it's gone, but it's it's gonna get rebuilt, which is the important thing. So, uh, so yeah, but yeah, that kind of hurts a little bit. Uh, I had a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of good memories in that truck, but uh, we'll just have to make new ones with Ken, uh, the Kenworth. So uh, hopefully we'll get uh, quite a bit done. I'll show you what I want to do today. So yeah, it rained again, but uh, it's supposed to be nice, get nice today. So uh, I had my dumpster trailer hooked up to my truck so uh i need to drop that off and uh first thing this morning we're gonna run over to tractor supply and grab some bolts uh so we have the bolts to mount the fuel tank straps and the air tanks is my goal today uh, i do have to figure out a little bit of where the drive shaft is going but uh yeah but something that i tracked down that is not easy to find is I found a front badge. So uh, we're gonna put this on now and uh, it's gonna have to come back off to get cleaned up. Uh, I started sanding on it a little bit to polish it, but uh, yeah, I just want it on there. Uh, so let's uh, do that. Okay, let's put this on here. And for the reveal, oh, so much better. What do you guys think? It really needed that. Uh... I don't know, it just makes a huge difference in my opinion to have the emblem on there. I know that's dumb, but uh, it does. I'm also gonna try something real quick because I'm just curious, there's some Rust starting to form there. So I'm gonna see if I could, uh, if that's polishable out, I'm hoping. Uh, so let me get the polish and we'll give it a shot. So the only reason why I'm doing this is just to see if I'm gonna have to find a grill surround in the future. So I imagine that's gonna take a little bit to find. I think it'll polish out. It won't be perfect. But it'll come out enough. I could also hit it with power too, which would help a little bit. I probably do need to put this on it to protect it as much as I can until I do polish it up though. Well, you guys don't need me. I'm just putting this on to protect it so it doesn't get any worse as uh, we're waiting to get her back on the road. Okay guys, so let me show you what I'm thinking here. See what you guys think. Uh, I think I just talked myself into spending more money. So, this truck had 10 inch aluminum air tanks so I kind of wanted to keep them. So I bought these brackets and I'm gonna mount inside the frame on both sides. 
So that's all good. I could fit all four of them. I don't know what I'm doing with the batteries yet. I really think I'm going to get a box like that was on the freight liner and put it right there. So the batteries are going to be on top. And the reason for that is I am going to reuse the back tank mount that was on this and the front tank mount that was on this. And uh, I'll show you why on the other side. Oh, also, it shines up. So when I remove this battery box, there's four holes there that work for one of the tank straps. So I won't have to drill holes there. And there's the four holes there that work for the back one. So I don't have to drill any holes for the tank, which is awesome. The question I have is, so on the back here, I'll be able to reuse the top hole of where the air tanks was on the inside, but the bottom hole I will not be able to use. And I don't want a whole bunch of holes in the frame or a whole bunch of extra bolts. So one of my thoughts, I also think that these holes here will work for uh, the carrier bearing mount. So uh, really the only extra holes that will bother me are those four there so I might be okay because I could on the front I could use those two bolt holes which are doing nothing right now besides holding clamps for the air tank or one of them and then I'll have to drill one which is unfortunately going to be where the tank mount is somewhere I'm going to have to figure something out there. Uh, I might have to make a bracket that comes off the tank mount bolt. That's what I think I'm going to have to do. But anyways, I want to plug up the extra holes. And I really don't want to just throw bolts in it. But I guess I will if I need to. And there's not too many, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but I was wondering what you guys think of welding them. I'm getting mixed reviews on that. Or I was wondering what you guys think of uh, filling them with JB Weld. You think that would pop out of there eventually? I don't really know. But uh, I need to figure, I want to figure something out for that. So that's kind of uh, my game plan for today. Uh, I need to figure out what this is. This could be flipped around so under the frame instead so it would be out of the way of the tank and stay there if needs to, if it needs to and I'm not sure what that is yet so I need to research that uh, I have the cross member coming and I have a drive shaft coming for it uh, I can't mount the and I have a carrier bearing mount but I can't mount the new cross member until I get that all that stuff because I, I want to make sure everything's right. So right now, uh, since it's still wet, but the sun's starting to poke out a little bit, I'm going to run and get my bolts that I need for today. I'm figuring that out right now. And then I'm going to come back and... Uh, oh, also, this is spaced out up here for the stack mounts. Uh, so I was going to end the cab mount. So I was going to have an issue there because this one's going to be in, but then these plates were on the inside, but I have two of those. They're aluminum, and they fit there, and they're the right thickness. So I just bolt that there, and then that's my spacer to space it out. So uh, that's really cool. I will want to cut it. Uh, I'll probably mount them today just to test fit, then I'll take them home, and I'll use my bandsaw to cut it. Uh, each of them. The other one's down there. Uh, started separating the wires, but it's a mess still. So, uh, yeah. I think we have a game plan here. I think we're going to get all the air tanks in the frame. Tanks mounted so they give me enough room. My big deal is I want enough room to get into there. So when I got to work on the motor, I can. So 
I think I got enough room to get into there. This will move. And uh, yeah, I think we're doing good. I just got to figure out the battery box location, uh, which could come later. Uh, I think it's going to go up on the, on the deck, though. And let's go get those bolts. Well, guys, back from Tractor Supply. $45 in bolts. Not too bad, really. I was expecting more, actually. So uh, I'm not too upset about that. Uh, hopefully I got the right stuff, though. We'll find out here shortly. Let me uh, set you up and I'm going to grab a fuel tank bracket and we'll see how it uh, bolts. Okay, guys, let's uh, mount one of these up and see how it fits. Hopefully I gauge the bolt size right. We're about to find out. So, we have these guys. These are what holds the strap. So, I need a washer there. Get one set up there and see how it works. I should have grabbed a nut. Oh, that's a little bit. that looks so low let's get it mounted up there and we'll see what's going on all right so this goes here like so of course I dropped the nut Okay, so those holes aren't lining up right. Where'd my nut go? They go like that. So yeah, they're definitely going to need trimmed. Seems awful low to me. Oh, the rear air's out. So it'll lift up another. Okay, so it'll be okay. So you guys like that? Of course, this all is gonna need sandblasted and all that good stuff. But yeah, that's uh one of them. I'm gonna get the rest of the bolts in it, and then uh, move on to the other one. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is about where this needs to be. Because off of that, there'll be another one of these, and then the deal, I think it's six inches is what I measured off another truck, which lines up with those holes. So hopefully three of the four holes will already be there. So really, I'm plugging up almost all the holes. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, I'm going to go take an air tank off. Uh, there's one that's longer than the others, and I'm worried it's going to be hard to fit. So I'm going to go grab that. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. This is the tank that's kind of the issue. So this one is longer than all the rest. But uh, I think I figured it out, and it's going to work. 
Uh, so I won't be able to get to the ends, so I'll have to tie them off. Uh, I'll be able to get to this bottom end for a drain. Uh, and what's going to have to happen is these mounts will go it'll go just like that. Well, this will be angled down a little bit more. Let's see. Right about there. And then I'm going to put a 90 going forward, 90 going back, and then however for these. And then the extra air lines on the other side, these straps have this bolt. So I'll just make a, a buncher thingy, I don't know, like the little rubber things like they use. And I'll put them onto each of these bolts so that I'll hold the air lines on the inside there out of sight. So. Yeah, this is a little tighter than I wanted. This is a 32 inch tank. All the other ones are 24 inch. So all the other ones fit fine. Oh, and I test fitted the cross member. I think that's about where it's gonna have to go. So I'll have room for everything once this is done. Uh, so I'm gonna mark these uh, spots and uh, drill them now. And how I'm going to do that is I want this on the downside. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put it as low as possible without it hitting. And then I'm going to drill a small pilot hole through and then I'll come back and make it bigger. Um, but yeah, that should do it. Unfortunately, none of the holes fit. So I got a bunch of holes on this side that aren't going to work. And I'm going to probably have to cut these studs off that held uh, the wiring harness up. They're not going to be needed anymore with my plan. So uh, I think there'll be plenty of room for drive shaft and everything. And everything will be tucked up. So I think it'll all work out pretty good in the end. Uh, this is the tightest tank. So I wanted to get it done first. And then uh, after that, the uh, rest should be easy. Okay guys, so I got this all figured out, I think. So let me put this together and we'll slide the tank in there and see. I'm spacing it off a little bit with washers. It does cover up this whole plate, so I don't think it will cause any issues. Uh, and then I got locking nuts on this too because I didn't want it to come loose once it's on there. Uh, that all measured out good. What stinks is all this is going to have to come back off before it's on there for good. But that's part of building it. All right, I'm going to grab a wrench for that. I'll be right back. Ah, throwing tools. What do you guys think of the mic so far? Is it working out pretty good? I think so. I think this is going to work out really nice. Now the tricky part, getting the tank in there. So I'm going to have to bend this open to do that and then bend it back. Let's see. All right. 
What do you guys think? All the tanks mounted in the frame like that, I think will be nice. These will get 90s on them, so the feed will come in right to it and then out. I don't think it needs three on this one. I could actually put a fitting on the end, actually, so that would work. I don't think I could use one on this end, but I could use one on that end. So that'll even get a little bit more room. Uh, once these hoses are out, it could scoot back. But yeah, fitting on that will feed, because one of these lines from this tank goes into this big line here. So it'll be nice, it'll feed it right there. So yeah, I think this is gonna work out pretty nice. It looks nice and clean, and when you look at it from the side, you don't even see the tank. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice clean install. So I'm going to go ahead and mount the others. And, and this is what I mean by the airline. So those deals down there, I'll just run them down here, the ones I got to buy. Uh, it'll be more on that side than this side. I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Now I just got three more to do. Guess I better get on it. That's my goal today is to get the tank mounts on and these uh, uh, fitted up. I am going to have a couple extra holes than I wanted because, uh, well, I couldn't use any of them. But that's okay. We'll figure that out. Alright guys, so I got this other one mounted up there. I do need to cut that stud off there. Probably that one there. Uh, and now that I see how they come out, I probably need to double check before I tighten anything down on that other tank. But uh, making progress getting there. Uh, I do have to say those Klee line Right there, Klee line bits. I think I got them off of Amazon. I'll find it and put a link in our or in the description. Uh, but man, they they sure make short work of drilling. Uh, I'm doing this all with my hand drill, and uh, I mean it's just a 516s hole, but it's not that bad. So pretty happy about that. Uh, Got to do the other side now, and uh, I think I'm going to call that it. I don't think I'm going to mount the tank on this side today. Uh, I got a little too short of bolts, so I need to get a little longer bolts. But uh, I'm going to cut those studs off, get that mounted, and then uh, get the other two tanks mounted. And we should be in pretty good shape then. Well guys, I made a mess, but all the straps are in and uh, making sense of the wiring. Let me get around to the other side. <sighs> As you can see, I got to clean up, but uh, yeah, that's the, all the airlines going back. Some of that stuff's going to be able to be shortened quite a bit. Uh, with how the tanks are running. I gotta look at some diagrams how it's supposed to be running. But we have diff locks and ABS and taillights that all electrical that runs back. So we should be running almost all of those through the tanks, the air tanks. But uh, I'm gonna take these two aluminum pieces home, get them cut. And tomorrow uh, I'm gonna put them back on, put the mounts back on. Uh, I really want to have the air tanks mounted and the tanks mounted this weekend. Oh, it was a long day, a lot of drilling, a lot of figuring out stuff, but uh, all in all, I feel like I got some accomplished. Uh, my voice is a little weird, I've been a little sick, so uh, that's cool too. Glad I got that. But, uh, yeah, it's moving along. I mean, after I get all this stuff mounted, then it's really just taking all the lines off, 
calling the sandblaster and having him sandblast everything and then I'm gonna prime it and then uh, do hub seals and stuff and then paint it so uh, stuff should start moving along pretty good now at least I hope so but uh, you know help me out hit like share you know all that good stuff I'd like to hear the comments uh, let me know if the audio is a little bit better I'm using a lapel mic this thing right here so uh, hopefully when I'm far away from the camera now it will sound better so I'll catch you on the next one guys